everyone had said I was going to be a failure. Everyone had said I was going to be a loser. Everyone said I was never going to be capable of love or happiness or health or growth or any of those things. And thus, of course, that was true, right? We become the stories that we tell ourselves. And so I imagine that's very much the story you're telling yourself. Okay, so I haven't seen my mother. I'm now a ne perhaps neglectful mother, all these things. What, what are the stories that are starting to like transpire in your head? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was that was a lot of it. And, you know, and I wanted to say, like, you know, if you think about what rock bottom means, it means that the point at which you're not going to fall anymore. Right. Yes. And the only way you ever stop yourself from continuing to slide and fall is once you actually have that account, that accountability moment, that reckoning moment, like you said, because if you still don't have that, your life can get worse because rock bottom for everybody is different. Sometimes it is like the house caught on fire and everything. But I think the the thing that actually changes somebody is when they realize where what their role was in that. Because and again, that's what it means. Rock bottom is actually the best place to be because it's where you're not going any further. You're not going any deeper. And the only thing that keeps you from going any deeper is the accountability, the reckoning, the the looking around and seeing, you know, what, you know, you may not have started the slide, but you can stop it and you can take control and some power over it and you can actually do something about it. But, you know, I you know, all the thoughts I had, like I said, I thought I was cursed. I thought here I was, uh, you know, a person that just, um, it, you know, was gifted with some really great ideas to be able to do things in business and professionally, but I was ever intended to be financially wealthy from it. Like my, my job was to build wealth for other people and I was never going to get it. Like that was, you know, for a while, that's what I believed. And where did that come from? That came from being taken advantage of and growing up and, you know, never having, um, you know, having a, really messed up money mindsets in the family and also the, you know, demanding that I work and whenever I wanted to ask to get an allowance or get paid to do something that's helpful so that I had money to spend, you know, being told no, that, you know, what I did wasn't important. And that carried all the way through in my self-sabotage and business and professional. Um, and with motherhood, it was, you know, I, I want to be a good mom. You know, I really do. I wanted it, but there I was repeating the exact same my own mother had done. And I was just like, man, how is this like, what is going on? Like how, and I didn't know, you know, the seven, eight years before, um, when the, my ex husband took the kids, he became the custodial parent because it was obvious. I didn't have any tools in the mother toolbox. Like uh, this, that wasn't my thing. I wasn't going to be able to, um, you know, take the time out. I had no desire. Here's kind of the ugly thing. Like I didn't want to go to PTA meetings. I didn't want to, you know, take time out of my work life to go, uh, you know, um, hang out in their classrooms. I felt like I was an independent, intelligent woman who had contributions to society. And why should I be the one that has to make all those sacrifices? Like I had a very, um, you know, sense of that's just not going to be me and I'm not going to do it. And so when everything started to fall apart in my business then and my relationship with my ex, it was pretty obvious that, you know, I needed to work on those tools, but I didn't. I spent another seven years plummeting down the hill, scraping at the sides, going further into risky behaviors and uh, you know, and getting into an abusive relationship and really tolerating way too much and not knowing how to stop that. And um, before, you know, again, I, I had that moment where I sat there and I thought, what if everything's true? What if this is my fault? 